Pick up me, boys. When you come at me, it's like a little break. Down on my knees, wanna take you to yourself. Woo, 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 woo. Insane Fight Club is back. Get out of my face. Last year they conquered Scotland. The reason we're in this big building tonight is because all you, because of you breaking your back for this company. This year they're bringing their unique form of entertainment to England. <laughs> Going on a road trip to promote their shows. <laughs> But can they sell out their gigs? Hey, if you're into the wrestling, who likes wrestling? I see them. Cope with the changes their newfound success brings. Look at the fucking neck of that man. In the last year or so, I must have put on about at least two and a half to three stone. And will they still be friends by the end of it? Go stop him, and he's the one that's too bad. It caused us. The brains behind Insane Fight Club is 29-year-old Mark Dallas. I was sitting having a, having a bacon roll five minutes ago in my pants. You know what I mean? Now I'm fucking climbing the finishing crown. Over the last few years, Mark has brought wrestling to the masses here in his hometown. We're pretty much reaching a point where we can't get much bigger in Glasgow. We announce a show that sells out. Like, there's not really a lot more we can do here on a regular basis. England's the main place. We need to go out there into the, the big bad world and see how we fare, see if this is all just a pipe dream or see if uh, we can hold it together and is, if we're only talking crap and we actually are as entertaining as we claim to be. So he's announced ICW's first England tour. From Leeds to Newcastle, Birmingham and Liverpool. Oh, and it's like 2,500 tickets available. That's And, and all these shows, by the way, happen in the space of three weeks. Quite a, a grandiose plan, but hopefully we'll pull it off. Like, if we don't pull it off, we're fucked, basically. Mate, I'm shaking it up here, honestly. Can we go down? With all eyes on the company, Mark is taking three of the hottest wrestlers on tour. Fan favourite, Grado. New kid on the block, Drew Galloway. <laughs> and the heavyweight champion, Jack Jester. And Mark's calling it the Magical Mystery Tour. <laughs> Over in Stevenson in Ayrshire is 26-year-old Grado. It's been a brilliant year for me since the last documentary. A lot of folk now think that because I've been on the telly and I've had these opportunities and I've got a lot, a bigger name for myself and things like that, a lot of folk think that, oh, Grado's a man now, he's fucking one of the best wrestlers ever, he's King Grado, is he? Fuck, man, I'm still just this chubby underdog for the Tata Stevenson. That's why I'm doing it. Fuck's sake. Aye, so I'm just going to practice my elbow drop. My elbow drop! Ah, oh, I fucking landed at something now. Nah, bastard. Ah. Oh. Fucking thing. What about for the fucking catalogue? I know it's sixty pound. It cost me the bastard. Ah. Grado's been about for a long time. Started out as a an underdog. Then he became a headliner in ICW, and uh, now he's in demand everywhere. So that was the goal. I didn't think it'd work <laughs> as well as it's worked. <laughs> I always kind of thought he'd become, he's starting to become, but I didn't see it being as big as it is. I saw it being big, but I didn't see it being this big. But despite his fame, Grado still lives at home with mum and dad. Doesn't it look amazing? That's great, I love food, then wrestling, scarf, grappling, munching, Martin Folk. That's where it goes, mate. Today, Grado is just back from holiday. Sat down the plane. There's already no spaces there is in this plane, then. Look at that, look, look at the belly. 
resting on the table seat. That's, that's an offer sign. And that, look at that. That's bad, isn't it? And I ended up having shortness of breath. See, about an hour into the plane, I thought I was going to have, have to ask the air hostess to put on, give my gas mask. As soon as it landed, I googled uh, shortness of breath. And it says if you are overweight, then you could suffer from uh, shortness of breath. Ask the woman for a oxygen tank. Nah, I'm fuck. It's depressing, the man. Shit. Gonna be on this telly. Another city, BBC. Millions of folk watch it and all that. Oh, <coughs> fuck it. Gredo has just landed an acting part as a wrestler on Scotland's top soap, River City. I try to learn my lines on holiday because they give you, they send it to you, and obviously you can read it on your phone. And every day I was just blotted up, every single night. It felt as if it was just a competition to try and get drunker than the night before. And I thought, right, I'll do my lines then, I'll do my lines then, I'll do my lines then. I end up fucking dinner line until I was jumping on that plane last night. Since last year, Grado's workload has more than trebled. So this week I'm doing three days on River City, a day of my work, a day away wrestling in Dundee. Saturday I might be working, but I'm trying to get off. It's really, really stressing me there, fuck it. Hello, I'm starting here today. What? I'm starting here today. How are you? What are you doing? A wee bit of acting in that. Uh, Graham Steveley. Or Grado, whatever the two. So you're right. That was pretty good, I think, there, wasn't it? What are you here for? We backed. <laughs> First up, a costume fitting. Oh, no, a nice wee fanny pack, I know, man. Tidy, tidy. You want me to try it on the room then, aye? That'd be great, and then. Kind of slumming there, I know. See right there, it's kind of slumming. On set, hard man cop Scott wastes no time in showing Grado who's boss. About the four figure, this lock, so in the clinch. I see you call it the clinch. This is quite. Oh, he's so mailing me! That's a good one. Turn it off! Turn the camera off! And then I can take you with that, like a nice UFC style wrist choke. Turn it off. Turn it off. Also going on the England tour is Jack Jester, who last year became ICW's heavyweight champion. Well, the night that I won it was like, legitimately one of the best nights of my life. So the three count, one, two, three, I was like, <sighs> like, crying your eyes out in front of you. you know, a thousand folk could just not even caring. You know, when you think, when you talk about everything I've done and all the uh, sacrifices, then that big chunk of metal there represents everything I've ever done. He is the embodiment of ICW. Last year was uh, Jack Jester versus Mikey Whiplash, where Jester bled so much and it was a really hard fought battle, became the ICW heavyweight champion. <laughs> Wrestling, I've just become who I am. It keeps me ticking, it keeps me busy, it keeps my mind occupied, it keeps my brain healthy. It destroys my body. I seem like I'm in a &E an awful lot. You kind of know me by my first name in there. Whether it's blowing my knee out or getting stitches or... But, you know, I, I, don't, I don't care because I'd much rather be limping about doing something I love than be the healthiest, you know, most pain-free guy in the world, just doing something I hate. It's three weeks before ICW's first England tour, but there's a problem. The tickets aren't selling. It, it dawned on me again that, oh, this isn't, this isn't like Glasgow. We can't just put on a show and people will come. Uh, I had to start promoting again. I know nothing about Birmingham Woods. Promoter of a wrestling promotion who's doing a show at the O2 in Liverpool. 
And we're very little about Liverpool. We're doing a show in Leeds or Newcastle. We're going to be running a show in Newcastle, right? So let's find out some stuff. Information. Jelly tots are from Leeds. What am I meant to do with that? Kind of clutching at straws on it. Everything hinges on this tour, man. If this tour screws up, there's not going to be any more tours. This is mega important. Adding to the pressure, Mark wants to move his headquarters out of the kitchen and into an office. Can he get peace in the house because they've got the, the cat, the dog, the Wayne, you know what I mean? It's like a Tom and Jerry cartoon. We've got fish as well, I think, somewhere. And also the company needs a premises to grow, to just get bigger. It's a perfect size, it's got high roof, it's city centre location, it is cheap, especially for where it is. Obviously it's no, it's cheap for a location, it doesn't mean it's cheap for us, <laughs> it's no cheap for us. You're spot on. Yeah. Apart from that, City of God church here. I think I might pass him off a wee bit, but fuck it. With so much riding on the next couple of months, Mark rallies the troops. They're going on a road trip to drum up interest, but there's no sign of Grado. Why don't you get it? Why am I starting here? Why is he here at Wanakoke? He's got a crepes in the oven. An oven over 30 right. miles away. Uh, you still in your house? Before you were getting the train, mate. Your ma's not had time to wash your clothes. Fuck's sake, right? We'll just gotta come and get you at your gaff, man. Fuck the train, right? You serious? Aye. He's like, I've not got hundreds of clothes because my ma's just back to Ireland last night and she was too tired to wash all my clothes. I don't know why I'm laughing, <laughs> that makes me angry. <laughs> 707. That's a roller roller 707. Oh my god. 2014. I feel like kiss. This chariot will be the lad's home as they crisscross England, picking up friends along the way. You can fit this six folk up there, Dallas. That's mine, mate. That's mine. Sorry, mate. That's my bed. Where's the other? Oh, right. I think we need to get used to this. <laughs> bed chosen. First stop, Stevenson. <laughs> She's tiny, man. What the fuck, man? With the full team on board, Mark gives a rundown for the week ahead. Hey, we'll just start hiking about what we're going to do. Uh, and, like, we've got stuff planned. Like, so every town there's a statue. We're going to put a cone on it and get a photo, right? Um, we've got different press, like, Newspapers and radio in each city. And then, apart from that, like, we just need to plan it on the fly. Here's to um, whatever we're doing this week. With two and a half thousand tickets to sell, the guys will need to get as much attention as possible. Before they cross the border into England, Mark begins the publicity campaigns. First up is Birmingham. With over a million residents and nearly half of them under 30, the city centre is the perfect place to leave their calling card. The one thing I wanted to do was like put the, the ICW traffic cone on different monuments and see if uh, I, we could do that without getting arrested. <laughs> hey, Hi, see me go out here? Aye. See me get a pole? Act pure deadpan. What do you mean? Deadpan, like we're doing a job. Oh, we're in to put this in for a... Wait, I should take my bum bag or leave my bum bag? Leave your bum bag. Oh. Mark's decided to christen the city's mascot. Seriously, this is what Birmingham is called, a fucking coot. Oh, we're going for fuck's sake, mate. Fucking go. Before we get to jail. Fuck yeah, fucking. I'm the promoter, you're maybe the fucking performers, man. Oh, no, wait, 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 don't pull yet, don't pull yet. Oh! Here we go! Set. Onward, turn up, you'll turn a bit as a boss. Run, actual. Move, Spirit move, 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 move.
next morning, and the guys are struggling. Yo, fuck off. <laughs> Grado, you got any painkillers? What? Any you got any painkillers? Uh, my heat is fucking those, man. bouncing. I'll put a wee heat. <sighs> Mark has asked Londoner Jimmy Havoc to lend some support. Hi, Jimmy Havoc has been with ICW for years and years and years. Get up, Jimmy! We always call him uh, ICW's favourite Londoner. Jimmy was coming down and gave a wee hand in case people couldn't understand us or something like that. So I was our translator. Oh, Jimmy boy! What Jimmy doing for the next two days um, is our honorary Englishman on the tour, talking Englishman. Um, <laughs> I don't know what a brilliant introduction, isn't it? I don't have a fucking clue what we're going to do during the day today, so let's just go to bed. Try and get some flyers printed up today and a staple gun. Just staple flyers to students as we're going around. Uh, yeah. just, they'll remember them then, won't they? <laughs> you might have any fucking taken. With that, it's back on the road. I'm going to lose my rag, man. He's going to just lie in there. I think he's done in front of or something. What do you mean, can he move? It's moving a bit. Lunchtime in the city and the ideal time to sell the show. But Mark's forgotten something. What? I don't know why I didn't get flyers. <laughs> Can I be <laughs> buy some flyers? We just got we may just got the phone go. Hey mate. Can I come see me this one? I wonder if there's somewhere here that does same day printing and I could get some flyers printed up. <laughs> With no flyers, the boys improvise. Hey, if you're into the wrestling, who likes wrestling? The wrestling's going to be here, October the 19th, ICW, Insane Fight Club. I'm probably not going to lift it for this, but we'll keep going anyway. ICW, it's yourself, hear you. I can't belly in the reflection, man. Fucking hell. Sorry for interrupting your lunch. I hate that. What's that you've got here? A plate of chips. Insane Championship Wrestling, October the 19th. Fear me. There's a police there, by the way. So we're going to City to City. We're trying to do different things to promote different shows. So I'm like, ah, of course, if ICW, the first time you show up in Liverpool to promote a show online eh, in a video, of course the first place you would see ICW is eh, Brookside Close. This is life changing. It says yeah. Brookside Close. No danger, mate. Brookside Close, big man, isn't it? That's it, mate. You guys big fans? I watched it. Uh, and I loved um, it. Uh, I always just remember like getting a piece of jam or a piece of tuna. We like just sitting watching it, man, just before I went to my bed at night. I was like, ah, Coronation Street. Uh, I, I remember it was on a Tuesday, because I remember coming back up the road for the BBs and watching it then. You had a BB or no? Uh, I was at the BB. Uh, uh, I was at the BB until I peed myself on Gill and then I didn't go back. <laughs> Whilst they're here, they take the opportunity to film a promo video for fans back home. Right, we're in Liverpool. We're here to promote the show, ICW show, for October. What can we do, man? What's the ideas here? We somehow managed to get a hold of Dean Sullivan, a.k.a. Jimmy Corkill. Excuse me, big man. Do you, do you care what we're going to... It's yourself. Jimmy, it's yourself! <laughs> Jimmy Corkill. Here we go, big man! I think that's pretty funny. I think that's, that's a, good, a good bit of business, man. That's, that's entertaining and that... Uh, transcends genres and fan bases. That's like getting in some people that wouldn't normally look at ICW. We're looking to promote your show. We're done here next month in October. Brilliant. We're, got, we're wanting to cause a bit of challenge, Jimmy. Great. So Good. if there's any any chance you could show us around about Liverpool, it would be greatly appreciated. Well, I think you've picked the person. I think we have. <laughs> the very person to do just that. Follow me. Yes. <laughs> Come on, Jimmy, boy. Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> Every day, but you know, most days you had a couple of socialised. So, like, see when you go for your messages, you must get mobbed, you know? Yeah. Aye. Not mobbed, but, you know, you get the text. So, have you started the, 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 the get your messages delivered to the house now online? No. No. In town, the guys do what they can to get noticed. <laughs> so, this is where it's like going about with Justin Bieber. <laughs> 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 Seeing the sights. But if you're standing where I'm standing, can you see what I can see? A bobby? 
Ja, det er ikke bange, altså. 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 The end game is always to try and get me to appear on a show. You're guaranteed mainstream attention when you, when you get like a proper like pop culture like, icon or person, do you know what I mean? Like, Take care, Jimmy boy! Take care, dude! So Jester asked, like, I hear the boys to go, mate, do you want to appear on the show? And he said yes. Today, the lads are heading into Leeds city centre. What? It's fucking hell in here, a fucking ass. <laughs> it's fucking hell in here, no, man. man I, I, uh, I'm dying, this is rotten. <laughs> what? <laughs> fucking smell. What's wrong? I need to get this. I need to get this, man, man. <laughs> you gotta get a fucking get that fucking camera out my face, man. Get in the ass. Oh, just go out of my equipment every fucking two minutes. Lending support is Chris Toll. Chris Toll is his character on ICW is he's my alter ego, he's my conscience, he's my the devil uh, or angel on my shoulder. It's meant to be a, a metaphor because of Chris's size that, that my conscience is, is quite small. Mark quickly brings Chris up to speed. It's yourself. Jimmy, it's yourself! <laughs> <laughs> it's Jimmy, God. How that video? And it looks like their antics are beginning to make headlines. There we go. Oh, look, there's the tour dates where you can buy tickets. Oh, mate. Greatest living Scott is on a roll. Hits all the buttons, mate. Yeah, Hits all the buttons. I'm talking about, mate. Got a national press. But there's no rest for the wicked. This thing is fucking a reek in a shite. I've had it on every day, man, for the last four days. Today is Grado's last day on the road trip. So it's down to him to speak to the local press. That's top of the 12. Leeds O2 Academy. It's a great night entertainment. Hardcore wrestling. If you've been to wrestling before, you've never been to this type of show before. It's yourself, Leeds. Here you. Insane Championship Wrestling. We're a wrestling company. We're coming here on the top of the 12th, I suppose. Again, look. Saving luck. We're going to get caught. Here. We're in Leeds. We're promoting ICW. We've just got muckered up with this new band. The New City Kings, all the way for Essex, and they're going to sing the best entrance song there is in the world. Take it away, boys. When you come out, baby, snack a little bread, and down on my knees, I want to take you there. It's your show! Sorry. That's it! <laughs> <laughs> Leeds done, it's time to say goodbye to Grado. <laughs> Newcastle, the last leg of the road trip. Look, Neil Arthur, this is serious business. We're here to promote a very serious wrestling show, right? Get in the fucking buggy. Right, mate, see if this disintegrates on impact. I'm going to have to laugh at you. I do not think that's going to hold your weight, mate. This isn't going to happen. This guy just killed himself laughing, look. <laughs> mate, I'm jealous. I'd love to be in a buggy. If we hide you, right? It's just this so is possibly the greatest thing I've ever did, done in my life. And then you just jump out, Chris, and just start giving out flyers. Aye. <laughs> Remember, this was his idea. <laughs> Let's make this right, abundantly yeah. clear. I did not right, so Chris, this idea. See when I stop. <laughs> yeah. Most people think that I come up with all these things, like, oh, Toll will dress you up. But Toll comes up with these things. So I look like I'm, like, heightest. Is that even a word? But I'm no. Right 
Alright folks, he's like wrestling. He's like wrestling. With just hours to go before the road trip comes to an end, Mark calls in ICW stuntman, Davy Blaze. Alongside him are two boys from the hit MTV show Geordie Shore, Kyle and Dan. The thing people go, why have you done something with Geordie Shore? People are really like hot and cold with him. Some people love him. <laughs> like Enton. Enton that gets big and big is going to have people that love it and people that hate it. The one thing it does have in, in spades is followers, fans, you know what I mean? So that's, that's what we're going for. They can get his mainstream attention. He's big dreamers. That's what he's The Jody Shaw guys and training with our guys, I think, is a nice crossover. And later on tonight, I think we're going to be going out with them. Any sort of press that takes you out with your actual fan base, that shows people that might potentially become fans your company, that's worth it, man. Every single time, that's worth it, man. So meeting the Jody Shaw guys was well worth it. Okay, and I'm going to take you for a spray tan, is that right? Not me, but Chris here and Davey will be getting a tan. Oh, okay. I would look ridiculous with a spray tan. Chris doesn't know, but we're going to like, rub him and say to the petition, get like an extra two coats. So, whereas you get like a nice glow, you know, Blaze will look, you know, handsome and dashing. And he'll look like, you know, a Cadbury's bar. What are you expecting? What am I expecting? I'm expecting it to look like a fucking Oompa Loompa. That's what I'm expecting. <laughs> Re regular from. But it's not okay. Uh, I'm like, no, it's, it's fine, it's okay. <laughs> right, okay. Make him unprofessionally brown. <laughs> Come with me and you'll be in a world of pure imagination. I don't worry, like it looks dark, but when it washes off, that's when you get your good, your good colour. Fuck <laughs> shit, man. What's going to happen when he finds out that I suggested this? It's fucking black. I look like Trevor McDonald. That's what I said! Seriously? I don't think I look good. And here's the news. <laughs> With the road trip almost at an end, the guys head out for one last photo opportunity. Today was an out-and-out -out success. I thought it got some good publicity, but it's not over yet because apparently the other show get the most publicity by being out drinking, so let's go drinking. These are the guys my mom to help me about. Oh, fuck me, the man. French I'm, I'm, right, get out of the van, man. I'm, I'm doing that, I'm getting out of the van now. Oh, yeah. 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 Fucking God on me, I can't. Just, Just get it done. Come on. Oh dear God and Gavin. Dear God, God fucking God help me. <laughs> oh my fucking God, man. I, I feel like I'm getting smacked in the forehead with a fucking dildo. Do you know that? My, my head is killing me, mate. Uh, I, um, I need, I need like 2,000 fucking gram uh, paracetamol or something like that. 2,000 gram for that. Shut up, the road trip has taken a lot out of the boys. Only time will tell whether it's all been worthwhile. Back home in Ayrshire, Grado was planning a trip abroad to visit family. It's Annie got Lyra. Is it Lyra at Cyprus? Annie? My mum's going after that as well. She's going to eat taking one of your Grado suits, Ken my Leotards. I says, no, I'm not taking one. I want a, week, want a break for that for just a week. She's gone, well, we'll, we'll all be expecting it. We'll all be expecting it. 
because it's my family that's all there, right? And they will, they will expect me to come off that fucking plane with a, with a leotard on, jumping about, Ken spinning around. Oh, it's yourself! You know what I mean? Man, just a wee bit of peace. Not, not a bit of peace. Shut up! A wee bit of fucking. Peace for that fucker. But choosing what to wear on holiday can be tricky. <laughs> right, this is a wardrobe full of the clothes that I wear. But in the last year or so, buff the stuff doesn't fit me anymore. I can't. Look at the fucking nick of that, man. Know what I mean? Again, look at the nick of this. Look, I've got it on. What? Wee tits hanging out. Wee tits poking at the side. Grado has a plan to fix all that. He's heard about a gastric band using hypnosis. Can I get a if I can get something that can get one of the, um, is it a virtual bypass? Aye, I happen just to let you uh, believe that you've got a gastric band down. Aye, aye. 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 aye You're going to see about that? Aye. Why is that going to cost you? I don't know, actually. How much would it cost me? A couple of hundred pounds or something? I'll hypnotise you. <laughs> what? I'll bang in a nut in that shoe. <laughs> But first, a call to directory inquiries. My name is Anne. How can I help you? Anne, it's yourself. Right, listen. I've got a wee bit of a deal here. I'm looking for somebody that can put me under hypnosis and it'll make me think that I've got one of the gastric, gastric bands. I'd like to know what you think. Do you think it's a good idea? Do you think I'm just a, a big greedy bastard that needs to stop eating skull? Damn. Or do you think I should just try and go no, for I'm it? I'm not able to answer that for you. And we don't do that kind of service. All calls here are being monitored and recorded. Thank you for calling. What's that bit? Hypnotherapy Scotland, Grado Jensen speaking. How can I help you? Right, it's yourself. It's uh, Grado here. I'm a professional wrestler. Have you ever heard of me? Um, yes, I think I have, yes. Tidy. How can I help you, sir? Right, I'll tell you what it is. I'm fed up of being in the wrestling ring with a belly out, with a bitch tit suit. The, the chin, the double chin. Somebody said yesterday I've got a chin like a stork. See the, the, the see the, the, the birds that deliver wings or something like that, the big chin. And I know of uh, is it gastric band? Gastric yeah. bypass? There's yeah, a ga look at gastric band. Right, well, see the real stuff, the one where, where they put you under the knife. I've met a guy who's had it. I'm not too sure if I want to deal with the side effects that he, he's had. Because um, I went to China Buffy King with him and that was an experience. You have a hypnotic gastric band that you can actually do as well. Um, right. Often people are overeating due to stress. That's one of them. Uh, due to a lack of sleep, things like that. So oh, what nice. we do is spend some time having a chat with you. Aye. Asking you some questions about that. So is it going to be a quite like a nice relaxing procedure and that? Of course it is. Aye. Um, I'm not even joking, I see even just right now talking to you, I feel dead relaxed talking to you, man. I'm oh, pure gouching on this satire now, I feel actually, I feel quite nice talking to you. But I'm definitely ready for this procedure and I, and I definitely think, I, I think, I, I just be even just talking to you just now, I can get all your mad vibes, man. I can feel that you would be able to uh, rest me and talk to me and I'd be able to confide in you and I think we could have a, a, a relationship here. Good. Non-sexual. <laughs> of course, of course. Are you definitely going to go? Oh, what's wrong with it? Surely I'm not going to come back and start fucking eating bits of fucking crumbs and all that. Surely not, nobody like that, what? Uh, oh, if it's any like the liquid diet, you'll be pleading with me to let you eat. Mm, no. <laughs> That's yeah. what you would I should have actually seen if she's maybe on her website, see if she's getting any before and after she pictures. She's on her website. Ah, she will, that's what I'm saying. Grado then, Grado now. Ah, I know. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> In Glasgow, Mark's new office, the Asylum, is finally open. Wait till you see this. Gym, microwave and all that. And the best bit is my office. Look, double glazing windy. In case anybody's doing anything out there, I don't like it. I can chat with Wendy and go, hold you in my office. First order of business. Mark checks out the press reaction from the road trip. Jolly Shorey, Chronicle Live. That's the gym hang we've done. Wrestling on tour. Comes to Leeds, says the date, says where you can buy tickets. Awesome. 
We've put a wee stamp on England. They know we're here. They know we're coming. But now we need to use that press as well as they go to get me a press. Aye. For Mark, the growth of the company is about far more than just tickets. Looking good, wee man, looking swish. Family is what it's all about for me. Um, it's all about my missus and my, my son, Danny. I vote dreams as well, do you know what I mean? I want to have like a front and back garden, just to have it whenever a bill just falls through the door that I don't have to go, oh my God, what's that? Two years ago, Danny was diagnosed with high-functioning autism. For Mark and Helen, it was the beginning of a long road. I just shut myself off it all um, and bottled it up inside, and it just, I started drinking there. Didn't talk to anybody about it, and that was the worst thing you could do. Eventually, I realised it wasn't going to severely affect his life. Now, and look at the camera and smile, Danny. Today, Danny is starting primary school, dividing his time between a mainstream school and a speech and language unit. I don't think autism's anything like what I thought it was when he first was diagnosed, because I was told he wouldn't be able to do X, Y and Z, and then the mirror I read into it, I was like, well, he can. And all these things that specialists told us he couldn't do, he's now done. We were told, oh, it's going to be harder for you to learn this, this and this. And that's like, well, all right then, doesn't matter how hard it is, we're still going to put the time in. It just, if it means we need to put double the time in that any other way we get, that's what's going to happen, because that's my way in. And it, wee man. We're going to go in the car now and get home, all right? With the England tour about to kick off, Mark decides to secretly bring back an old friend and wrestling superstar. All right, mate, how you doing? Sad, big man. Standing at six foot five, Drew Galloway has spent the last seven years fighting with the world's biggest wrestling company, WWE. He's just been released from his contract and is back in Glasgow to ICW, where he first started his career. I'm not saying this wee Glasgow company can conquer the UK. I believe this wee Glasgow company can conquer the world. So I'm so determined for this to be a worldwide thing. To get on the same level as Dallas, maybe help run the place. Like, I have such big visions in my mind that I'm here not just to bring ICW to the next level, I'm he here to weed out all the shit. Ready to go. Let's do this. Showtime. Tonight, Drew is making his unannounced comeback. <laughs> With Drew now on board, Mark hopes the tour will not only be a success, but cement ICW's reputation. That's what Drew's for, you know what I mean? Just growing the brand worldwide. Two, three. One, two, three. Drew is meant to give a bit of legitimacy, to give his men of that sort of big time. You know what I mean? This is, this is somebody coming from the perceived big time to come and be an ICW guy. It kind of adds an air of, like, Authenticity, ICW. Well, the best. No, thank you, bro. Honestly, it was that. amazing, man. Honestly. Outside the ring, Drew and Jester have known each other for years. You're ready. <laughs> In my first day training, <clears throat> uh, yeah, I was 15, just about to turn 16. So, like, since then, I don't really know. I, I don't really remember how it happened because there was obviously a lot of guys at training, a lot of. Different folk, but we kind of had it off and uh, spent a lot of time together, um, trained together, all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, similar interests, similar personalities, and just yeah, clicked. Yeah. Playing. With Jester and Drew, who both came up at the same time, and they were inseparable for years and years and years. We'd go and do the holiday camps. When Drew got signed, he went to the WWE, uh, achieved all these great things. <laughs> yeah. And Drew is my best mate. And he continues to be. He's always been there for me, and I've always been there for him, regardless of what's happened. I've been here, he's been over there. And, you know, the distance has never made any difference. Two years ago, that friendship was a huge support for Drew. Yeah, How long ago did your mum pass? It was uh, November. 
last year. And the third. <clears throat> yeah, I guess I've not really dealt with it or accepted it yet, to be honest. I kind of went deny it. And I wasn't here to see it, I was just hearing about it, and I was watching it through Skype and pictures and that can be here. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I wasn't, I wasn't, I'm not part of the family, but like, I, you know, I was still class him as family because I've been there ever since I can remember. And, you know, that's why, like, it was always important for me when Drew was away to, you know, if I was ever an heir or whatever, to swing past and see his mum. With these two friends now working for ICW, Mark sees an opportunity to end the England tour with a bang. When Drew came back, I was like, oh, it'd be really cool to set the two of them on a collision course, because that's what it's all about, mate. That's where you sell tickets. So people like to see Drew fight Jester. So Mark has announced a heavyweight title match between the two friends in the mecca of all venues, Glasgow's Barrowland Ballroom. With the year ahead falling into shape, ICW's first England tour gets underway. Four cities, four venues, and the future of ICW at stake. Right, guys, this is our first ever UK tour. It's been murder trying to promote it. We thought it was going to bomb. Literally, up to last week, we thought it was going to bomb. We've already got 400 tickets for the night gone. Our biggest crowd outside of Glasgow. Starting as we mean to go on, but this is only the start of the tour, guys. It's going to be a long fucking couple of weeks. But by the end of it, we'll not just be the tap promotion in Scotland, we're going to be the fucking tap promotion in the UK, all right? On the tour, they were going crazy for Drew because this was like the prodigal son returning home. Like something that they never thought would happen. Not only has he came back to work for ICW that one time, that he's actually on the roster, he actually works for this company, you're actually going to see him when you go to ICW, a lot of ICW shows. He came back. I was the champion, but he was the, he was the talking point. Very little was said about me. It was all Drew, Drew. And it did hurt my feelings. It really did affect me for quite a while. ICW, baby! Yeah! Meanwhile, actor Dean Sullivan arrives, unannounced. For Mark, it's a chance to see if his gamble will pay off. <laughs> Jimmy Cockhill showed up at ICW to defend on a Liverpool and got some mere media attention. As the tour progresses, word of mouth gets out. ICW has become the hot ticket. With nearly 2,000 tickets sold, ICW's first England tour has been a success. Sometimes you've got dreams and you you're a bit worried that maybe if you ever chase them and you got them, they wouldn't be what you, you thought they would be. But this is everything I thought it would be. All this extra work just makes me want it more. There's now just two weeks before Glasgow's Barrowland Ballroom. But with the big show comes a massive change. Mark has decided to pass Jester's heavyweight title to Drew. Like, he's had the belt for a year. Do you know what I mean? Like, he's bet most of the wrestlers on the roster, so he freshen things up, and then you change, like, who's the face for a wee bit, so you go, like, who's it going to be now? I'm thinking that for a business perspective, that's what you do. It's a wee shake-up, do you know what I mean? At the end of a year-long uh, title run. <laughs> To promote the big match, Mark is holding a Q&A in the city centre tonight. But unbeknown to the fans, Mark is about to make it a night to remember. We're doing a thing sort of like inside the actor's studio, but for wrestlers. So we're doing that here tonight. 
but we're also going to have a brawl breakout with Jess down the at the end of it. Um, where they're going to beat the shit out of each other, and we're going to try and get some media attention with that. We didn't want to do too much of a massive brawl, we just try to keep it kind of real, so like, ah, if, if, if uh, just bang, and, and then just get caught on right away, because a real fight would get caught apart right away, and we make it just that the camera's shaking, and everybody's like, for fuck's sake, aye. With the scene set, the event begins. Just call me the puppet master, mate. Ah. Uh, well, my puppets. We're talking about tag teams, just wondering who your favourite That's right. Oh, Billy. Do you have got a question? Because you came back, and that's all you cared about is getting your point across. You. Go! I did get a feeling towards the end of the feud with the two of them that it was getting a wee bit personal between the two of them, so... You alright? Hey. Where the Can fuck? I'm Where the fuck? What do you expect? Dallas? I know, so I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, mate, I know. But where the fuck? I'm a meta you do stuff like that. Where am I meta fucking? Oh, I'm trying to make Well, if you feel bad, don't come back out here and tell me that I'm in the wrong way. You spoke to me. Where... Go I'm sort him out. He's the one that's came back and caused this. You're knowing the rank, you're knowing the rank, mate, but come on. So I knew it'd be fine when they actually had match, but it was just the lead-up to the match, making sure that it wouldn't all blow out of proportion between, <laughs> between the start of the feud and then. That was the, that was the hard bit. For Jester, the realisation that he's losing his heavyweight title is beginning to hit home. When it comes to him talking about the company which I've built, and the, the, the shows which I've built and the crowd which I've built. And he says things like, you know, eh, I'm coming back to Scotland, the place that I call home. Well, he calls it home because he's, he was born here. He was raised here. But he's lived in America for, you know, eight years. I'm a product of Glasgow, just like ICW is a product of Glasgow. And I was not willing to let folk be fooled by this whole, you know, I've done this and I'm coming home. You're visiting Scotland. That's what you're doing. I'm home. Today, Gredo is on the East Coast, meeting a hypnotist specialising in those with larger appetites. Hey, I'm brilliant, I'm tapping all you all right good. yourself? Aye, I like this. that's good. I like this. Well, I feel as if I'm more relaxed when I can wear this kind of gear, so good. I thought I'd, you don't mind you, I'm all right with wearing this I don't mind at all. And do you want to go to the lure then, before you start? Do you want to go and try for a pee, then? You, know? you go and try for a pee. It's not a pee I'm worried about. I think it's any of shite, but I'm not shite in there. What do you eat on an average day? Two rolls and bacon, mince, pasta, tomato soup, I had a Cumberland fish pie for Marks and Sparks for Friday. It said serves four, and ate the whole lot of it. A packet of sports mixture, Cadbury's nibbles, and a packet of minstrels. I guess there's nothing after. Kiss. Oh, there was more. Oh, yeah, there is, I am most up there, by the way. Okay, then just... I had a Terry's chocolate orange. And also I had a slice of bread with egg mayonnaise on it. How do you feel when you're eating? Great. Do you think that what you eat is okay? Or it's healthy or it's nutritious? Nah, I know it's not healthy. Because I shake all the time. <laughs> so all we're gonna do is get you nice and relaxed. Is that okay? Aye. Good. Okay, so just let your eyes close. And I'm just going to touch your shoulder and just let yourself be aware of the peace and quiet. I want you to know that you're very safe. Now, around you there is ropes. And I want you to see that everything that is in, within those ropes that are around you is within your control. So let's say six months time, your body is much more lean, much more muscular and has less fat. Just imagine what that would be like because you're no big daddy. 
Big Daddy's gone. Giant Haystacks is gone. But you're here and you're alive. And you are Gradle. Feeling magic. Feeling great. Well done. Oof. That was mad. That was mad. How are you doing? Ah, good. That was good, that. Aye, can I? Good. You know what I mean, you know what I mean? You know, good. No one would just kind of act smart and start bamming you up or anything like that, you know what I mean? I'm kind of... You know what I mean? For no one, a lot more wisely. Try and enjoy your life. Less stress. Let me sleep. Relax. Go on your life. Do it. It's your cell. It's my cell. Finally, it's the day of the big heavyweight title match between Drew and Jester. This has been a constant kind of cloud over my head. Um, but, you know, I'm so excited about it. I'm sorry. Everybody's buzzing about it. The other fans are going crazy, so you can imagine how I feel. I'm hoping that it won't affect our friendship. They're not going in there as two best mates, like putting on a match. We're going in there as two wrestlers who are going to take it to the, you know, the extreme. So, um, yeah, it's, I think it's the most emotionally involved I've been in a match. In air, Drew is busy on the weights. Like a complete obsession to me. Like, I'm so driven. A man on a mission just to show the world what I've got. And I have a lot of personal goals to achieve in wrestling. And I want to be in the right mind frame. I want to look the part. I want to be 100% the part and walk out to me. And, uh, it's everything I wanted it to be because I gave it everything I had. Oh, ding dong, the jester's dead. <laughs> He's going down. Tonight, the heavyweight title is being passed to Drew, but the fans don't know that. It's now down to the pair to put on the show of their lives. It's not my job to decide when I get it and when I lose it. That's Dallas's job. You know, I've, I've went through everybody in ICW. You know, I've beat them, so when, when does it make sense for me to, to pass the ball? Hey, you handsome. Hey, you handsome. To help him relax, Jester grabs a little time with his nine-month-old nephew, Joseph. There's a time you need to start thinking about other folk. You been sleeping? You been sleeping? <laughs> Dribbler? Me? Yeah. Kind of think to yourself, maybe I should pull back a wee bit and... Like, I know that it's going to get serious. I know it is, you know, it's, there's, it's inevitable, there's no dancing around it, but... <laughs> I need to think about other folk and just not just yourself. The day in the show at the Barrowlands was where I sort of gone, like, we're no, you know, I mean, this isn't a laughing matter anymore, look, we're serious. It's the Barrowlands, mate, and we've done it, we've ran it and sold it out. Sold it in advance, man. It's not wearing this collar, is it? Is that wearing now? <laughs> Fucking hell, man. 1,600 tickets sold over a month in advance. It's the show of the year. It's a really big day for all yous, mate. Because we're doing the Barrowlands. The Barrowlands is fucking banging. Woo! It's different from any other Woo! venue. Not only is playing here, it's fucking sold out in advance. It's sold out in advance because of all of you. That's the fucking truth. That's how good you are. We are getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Have a fucking brilliant night. I'm so proud of all these lads. Thank you very much. <laughs> We sail at the Barrowlands, but we put on a pure brilliant show on our. Everything we ever claimed we were good enough today, we did in that night. The big time thing that we can't do, because only Americans can do it, all that shit. Big eye. Who can he fucking do it? Backstage, 
Drew and Jester get ready for the showdown. I really wanted the two of them to like really throw themselves in it and really feel what they were doing, um, which is the hard part of my job. But that's the thing that, that, that that's when wrestling's at its best, mate. See when it's that wee moment where you don't know if it's real or not. If you don't know if the story's real or not. Oh, I know the match is predetermined, but is he gonna actually smack him? As far as the ICW of the company goes, I'm, I'm the top guy, I'm the champion. I uh, busted my balls for a long time to get there. Finally achieved it and I'm really very protective over it and, you know, that, that is who I am. It felt as real to me as anything ever has, you know what I mean? And, uh, well, then it's just emotion. Yeah, absolutely. It's, 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 exactly, you know, you've got all these matches that before us, you know, they've seen everything. They've not seen two guys literally, like, get genuinely upset about everything. Cause it was like, I was upset as well because I'm like, man, this has been some year for me, like, holding that. You know oh, what yeah. I mean? And you know, like, the next three seconds away, Fade not having it anymore. Yeah, man. Uh, thank you for uh, doing done. that. Cheers, man. Months. I was the champion. I no longer am the champion, somebody else has got that. So just because Drew's the champion doesn't mean that I'm going to slip down the card anymore because I'm not going to allow it. You know, there's no way. I didn't work this hard for this long to get my championship. Drew comes back, he takes it, and all of a sudden, I'm gone, I'm out the picture. Nah. He's got the belt. What's my job? To get it back. And I will get it back. Watch me. We did it and we we're mega proud that we did it and we're going to do it again and again and again and again and again and we'll keep doing it and we'll go to bigger venues, badder venues, we'll, we'll fucking sell it everywhere mate, we'll sell it all over the fucking world because that's how good we can be. We'll either capsize or we'll sail off into the sunset, do you know what I mean? But either way it's going to be a hell of a journey. As for Grado's diet... He's like $17 in the last month. Uh. For exclusive unseen footage and behind-the-scenes stories from the Insane Fight Club, head over to bbc.co.uk forward slash insane fight club.